<clears throat> what is up guys? It's your boy CJ here. I haven't said that in a while. Breaking news. I have found the most shocking news of this year so far to me. Uh, today's a Wednesday. You know, I, I woke up, took a shower, did all of that. I went to school. As soon as school got done, I came home and I had no plans with any friends or anything, right? So what I do? I go and play some Call of Duty. Afterwards, I get bored. I go on YouTube. I go on YouTube. I find out the WrestleMania 33 card has been leaked. Now, this obviously hasn't been confirmed by WWE. Obviously. Because as if they're really going to do that. <laughs> but I've seen this all over in many other places. And in different videos. YouTube videos that were released on today or you know a couple of days earlier and it's the same fucking thing so I'm gonna show you guys this and I want you guys to tell me what you think right there so for the uh, WrestleMania 33 kickoff we have the uh, American Alpha versus the Usos versus the Ascension for the Smackdown Live Tag Team Championships that doesn't seem like too much of a shocker. They've been kind of doing that whole little routine right there. So that doesn't really come to shock me. The Luke Gallows versus Carl Anderson versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the Club versus Sheamus and Cesaro versus Enzo and Cass for the Raw Tag Team Championships. That as well doesn't seem too, um, you know, too out of text. That seems pretty much right, normal. And then... Obviously, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. It's happened last year. Um, or, no, not last year. Uh, that happened at WrestleMania 31. And so that's not really much of a surprise at all. Now, what I really want to show you for the main event, we have uh, this exciting ladder match. And lately, the ladder matches have been opening up WrestleMania 31 and 32. And now it's looking like 33. We will have the whole 205 big timers in this match. Neville, TJ Perkins, the Brian Kendrick, uh, I don't know that guy's name, Jack Callender, uh, Alexander, and Tony Nese in a ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, if you ask me, that's pretty damn awesome. Now, we have the next match after that. We have the uh, Alexa Bliss versus... Mickey James versus Becky Lynch match for the uh, women's championship on SmackDown. Um, doesn't seem you know too shocking, but it just kind of makes me wonder why Mickey James is in there. You know, they kind of brought her back just as a mentor, so to speak. I don't think she's really gonna win it. So there's that, and then after that. There's this interesting match right here. Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin versus the Intercontinental Championship in a no holds barred match. Now that's 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 legit. And if you notice, that's actually the first singles match on this entire card. The sixth match into the damn pay per view, and it's already the only single match. That's pretty cool. Now, down below we have the Big Show versus Shaq. That's not too um, shocking. We've been hearing that. Well, I mean, that's been a rumor since 2009, but it's pretty much been confirmed since last year in 20, 2016 with the Big Show and Shaq. So that's that. That's pretty cool. But it's good that it's not in the main view, main event view. You know, there's that. Now here is really whack. We have Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn. Versus Roman Reigns for the U.S. Championship. That tells you right here. In between now, which is the date of Wednesday, March 1st, all the way up to WrestleMania, Chris Jericho has dropped the U.S. Championship. And we're not getting that stupid pathetic match that we all hear, Undertaker versus Roman. That's good. We don't want to see Undertaker versus Roman. I don't. That is complete trash. So I'm glad that if this is legit right here, 
Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, and Samoa Joe are in a United States Championship match. That's pretty freaking awesome. And that's shocking. Here. Seth Rollins versus Triple H. Um, I kind of saw on, on YouTube, uh, what was it, yesterday? They had, um... They had a, a video on there that says, Will Seth Rollins return uh, uh, in time for WrestleMania? And before I watched the video, I'm like, okay, WWE is advertising this. So clearly he's going to make it to WrestleMania. Clearly. They're not going to just say that and then hope he will. They're not, no. WWE's not that fucking stupid. So there's that. Um, Seth Rollins will be back for WrestleMania. He even said himself. So... That's pretty legit. Now, here's what kind of disappoints me. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. I mean, that actually sounds like a pretty pleasant match. And I just seen what John Cena and Nikki Bella did The Miz and Maurice on SmackDown. But, uh, for John Cena, this is a, probably his, like, least captive match of ever, of all time, at a WrestleMania like, that's kind of complete trash for Cena's reputation, you know, but maybe it'll be a good match, we'll see. Here, this is pretty interesting. Charlotte versus Sasha versus Bailey versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, that, that should be a good match. You know, it'd be better if they took out Nia Jax and put in, um, uh, um, Becky Lynch, but, you know, to have the four horsewomen fight, but I guess I think this could be a pretty good match too. Now here we have Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the WWE Universal Championship. So that mean that kind of spoils it for us. That means Kevin Owens is going to defeat Goldberg at Fastlane. Will he win by actually beating him himself, or will someone interfere? Who knows? Maybe Jericho or Lesnar will interfere in that match. But it says right here, Kevin Owens will retain it at Fastlane and face Jericho for it in the, at WrestleMania. That should be a good match. I am 101% behind that match. Here, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Again, not shocker. That's been teased since freaking Survivor Series. <laughs> um, but here's a stipulation that says, Loser retires. Now, that makes actually really good sense. Because we've seen this match before. You know, we've seen that at WrestleMania 20. We've seen that at Survivor Series. They even had their little, you know, their little um, brief moment at the Royal Rumble with each other. But for this to happen and lose retires, it makes sense. Because this is probably more than likely Goldberg's last hurrah. And Lesnar, I think Lesnar's got a, another year or two in him. for. I mean, at least with WWE. So... Makes good sense. Lesnar's gonna win, obviously. <laughs> now here's what really fucking made me awesome. The Undertaker versus AJ Styles. Not only did this make me happy because we're not gonna see Undertaker and Roman. Again, I do not want to see that match. I do not want to see Undertaker and Roman. Especially if Roman were to come out the winner. And The Undertaker has stated that who he faces at the Royal Rumble, or, I'm sorry, at WrestleMania, he wants them to win. And they teased a little bit of that Roman versus Taker at the Royal Rumble, and I do not want that. That would be the absolute shittiest for the business, especially if Roman were to win. And instead of AJ Styles facing Shane McMahon, which, I mean, no disrespect to Shane O'Mac, but I don't want to see that either. That doesn't seem too awesome. To face The Undertaker? That's fucking amazing. That's, um, oh my god, I'm pumped. I am pumped for that. I hope this happens. AJ Styles versus Undertaker. That'll be great. Now, right here. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton versus Luke Harper for the WWE Championship. That right there is not too shabby. I was actually looking forward more for a Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton versus AJ Styles triple threat match for the title. But... Now that I saw this, I want to see AJ with Undertaker. So I am all for this triple threat between the Wyatts for the championship. Just find a way to get Braun Strowman and Eric Rowan in that match. Like, involved in it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, don't do that. But yeah, 
Looks like it could be a pretty sick main event, better than last year. You know, we all know how that went. Losers. <laughs> but, now, that's the end of this. Now, you realize there is no na big names like uh, Braun Strowman or even Finn Balor on this. So that brings me up to here. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I'm almost positive since those two um, wrestler, since those two wrestlers are not on this card, I'm almost positive both of them are in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Now the Memorial Battle Royal has been won by Cesaro, um, Cesaro, Big Show, and Baron Corbin. I think Balor or um, Strowman are going to be in this match, and they could possibly be uh, um, some winners. I also realized that the New Day hasn't isn't on this card either, so I'm almost positive they'll also be in the Battle Royal. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. But that's pretty fucking crazy. That's legit. If this is a legit card, I'm all for it, 100 percent. You know, 100 percent. That's you know, woohoo. But uh, yeah, so this is me giving you guys. Um, my thoughts on this card. So, if you like this video, like, obviously, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> Deuces.